bit. My name is Peter Freis. <laughs> uh, born in Mexico, raised in Mexico. So yeah, uh, I want to share a bit where we came into this supernatural life and how God, uh, first, the first year, how we went through with people. We had two, first of all, we, we went to a desert. We, we moved to a desert. Like they were starting a new open land there to, it was just desert. And we moved there and and that's where we, where we actually experienced the real Jesus. Like, we were having a bad, bad life until then. Like, we were born again, but uh, very, in a very religious uh, church that we were. So we were seeking for something else. And then we came there and moved to the desert. Then we met uh, two couples that were with us. And they taught us about all this supernatural stuff. And then we came to the point that we like, wow, this is the one. Th this is what we need. And we got, and that's where we got delivered. And uh, a lot of all that past and stuff that we got set free. That's where we experienced the real Jesus and where we got the baptism of the Holy Spirit and all that stuff. But we were, we were with these two couples. We were three couples. We were having almost every day we were together and we were together like for long, for oh, to two o'clock and, and we were praying and we were like, the devil had no, they had no right on that area. And that, that, community we had we were like bold we were going around and like casting out devils whatever and, and telling the people like who really Jesus was we were like without fear just going and, and telling about Jesus but there that uh, farm, farm that I worked on got sold so we had to look for something else. So we prayed and asked the Lord, well, what did, well, where do you want to, where do you want to go us? And we got it that we just heard the voice go to Canada. So it was, people say that was almost impossible to go for us because uh, it was almost the end of the year and we had our, first child was born in Mexico. She didn't have a passport, a Canadian passport, so we had to make a, a Mexican passport, and they say, okay, the, it will not work, because if you're moving, if you move into Canada, if you say you move into Canada, that you will get sent back because of this Mexican passport and whatever. But we didn't care, care about whatever people say, we did, just didn't care. We, we just went on and it worked very well. We, we just, everything, like the it, it passport got ready. We, we left in the 2019 on December 28th. Uh, was the flight, we came here, everything worked well. So yeah, and uh, then got, we asked God, okay, what now? Now those two couples stay there. <laughs> And we were not with them anymore. So, but there was another thing. We got to know John already in Mexico. So we knew that John lived here. So we had that in mind, like, okay, we go to John. And but it came a time that somebody asked us to come to their house to, they want to receive deliverance. So here's the funny thing uh, where God put us in, took us the training wheels off. <laughs> uh, we called John, okay, there's somebody that needs deliverance. Do you want to come with us? Yeah, he said yes. But yes, what? He never showed up. <laughs> <laughs> so we were, were there, and then, okay, now what? 
those two couples were not with us. John didn't came, so we were alone. <laughs> and these guys were like expecting what deliverance. <laughs> okay, so I had to I had to go on my knees and say, okay, Lord, here I am. Use me, show me <laughs> what I'm supposed to do, and it worked very good. Like we we had a good time there after all. But that's where Jesus, where God showed us, take off your training wheels. You you have to go by your by yourself. So that was pretty amazing. Thank you for listening.